Welcome to CAD station. Uh, this tutorial is going to be specific for the SolidWorks assembly drawing. And I received some messages uh, from my viewers that uh, can you please explain the basics of uh, SolidWorks assembly drawing. So I am here today to explain you how you can assemble uh, two to three components into assembly drawing and what you need uh, to do. Uh, the basics of MET and uh, how you can insert components. So let's just start. Uh, I have some parts uh, that I have made uh, earlier. So I'm not going to model these parts here. Uh, I, I hope you can uh, model and get simple parts. So I'm going to start uh, from, let's just start from the assembly. Once uh, first, uh, keep remember when you are uh, when you have to do any assembly drawing then first we have to make some parts or the components of that assembly uh, then you have to come to this uh, new and simply select the assembly drawing once you select the assembly drawing uh, let me show you again uh, I'm just closed it now if I go to the new uh, here is the option assembly if I just click on it then uh, the first state asks me where is my components. Uh, I can simply drag from here or if I just close it. Uh, the first step when you are doing the assembly is you have to come here uh, visibility off and turn these two coordinates or the regions on. Now next is uh, you can find from here browse option or come to here assembly and find the insert component. Now. I have the here uh, basic components of the assembly. Let me show you. And I have some of the components here. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, assemble two to three components in this video. So I have the base. First, you have to select the component that's going to be the base or that is a main part of your uh, model. So this is my main part or the base of the assembly. So I just insert it first. Now you have to move your cursor to the origin and just click on it. Now this is done your part origin or and the assembly origin is going to be coincident here. Now next is I just take it to the normal. Now again go to insert. I have um, let's say one. This is the one and this is the two. This two is my next two components for the assembly one and the two. Now what I have to do let me now you can turn these origins off. Now next is I want to uh, bring this yellow part on the surface of this base. This side and this side I want to be uh, at the end. So you have the mate. Select on the uh, click on the mate. Now I want this face and this face as the coincident. You can see here. Okay, you can select the coincident and parallel, no problem. Okay, now this one is moving. I want to take this side and this side fix so coincident and okay. Now you can see control 7. If I just try to move my part, it's only moving uh, in Z uh, direction, that's mean it's not. Uh, moving in X and Y direction. So I have to select this face and rotate your wrist sketch. I want to put the base of my yellow part on the right. You can see coincident and control. Mm -hmm. Okay. Done. Control 7. Now you can see this part has came on its position. Similarly, if I just want to, uh, let me show, okay, take this part here. Now, same, uh, this part is on the right side of my assembly. I want to take this face 
uh, and make the coincident meet on this face so mat you have to simply select the faces it will automatically come on its position done now this uh, gray part is going free so i want to make it control 7 i want to make it fix so i have the option flank the face and this face and okay now control 7 now you can see it's only moving in uh, x and z direction so if i just make uh, we have done the coincident mate now let me show you uh, i want to make this hole and this hole concentric so simply select the inner cylinder and this one it's come to the concentric mat and okay now there is a gap between these two faces uh, it can move like this i want to uh, if i just click on this face rotate my assembly and select this face it will uh, be coincident uh, that means both faces will co uh, coincide but i don't want to uh, coincident uh, make the coincident meet here so i'm going to delete control 7 again i just want a distance of 10 millimeters between these two parts so mat the third most uh, using mat is the uh, distance mat just select one face rotate your component or the assembly select the another control 7 okay wait control 7 now you can see i have selected the one millimeters i just make it 10 millimeters the gap between these has been increased so if you uh, have to meet any two components and uh, make the distance between them so you can use this distance mate and okay so we have covered the coincident parallel and concentric and the distance mat these four uh, to five mates are most important or most using mates of the assembly drawing so i hope uh, this uh, tutorial is enough for your basics of uh, assembly drawing we have covered how to how to start the assembly how to insert component uh, and what's the first step of assembly drawing i have told you just turn this to on then uh, insert your first component that should be your base or that should be your uh, main component of the assembly then you have to uh, move your cursor to the origin of the assembly and just click on it then you have uh, you can insert uh, the components of your assembly from here and put any uh, in the interface of your SOLIDWORKS anywhere then you have the option meet and you can select the meet and uh, do the meeting of your own choice it should be coincident, uh, coincident parallel or the concentric and the distance weight these four meets we have discussed in this tutorial hope you will understand uh, this tutorial if you have any problem regarding SOLIDWORKS assembly drawing, then you can ask me on comment section. I will try to resolve in coming uh, tutorials. In the end, if you are new to CAD station, then uh, don't forget to subscribe it. And if you like the video, then press the like button and share to your friends. Thank you.